Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Charlie. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make my delicious homemade coconut rum cake. Now, this combines the coconut cake with the rum cake. It has ingredients like coconut milk, coconut extract, coconut flakes, and chopped pecans, which are toasted during the baking process, and rum, of course. And after the cake is baked and cooled, we make a rum coconut milk glaze, which we insert into the cake and we baste it onto the bottom and onto the outsides of the cake just before serving. This recipe, you can get about 12 to 15 servings, all depending on how you slice it. It's great for the holidays, especially during Christmas, so you can make it for a gift for someone. It has a wonderful coconut rum flavor, moist and absolutely delicious. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, here's all that you'll need to make your homemade coconut rum cake. Let's get started with our ingredients. You'll need some all-purpose flour, sugar, salt, baking powder, unsalted butter at room temperature, large eggs at room temperature, unsweetened coconut milk at room temperature, sour cream at room temperature. You can use any type of rum for this recipe. I'm going to be using Bacardi white rum. You also need some vanilla extract, coconut extract, sweetened flaked coconut and you can use any type of nuts for this recipe i'm going to be using some chopped pecans and for your tools you'll need some baker's joy non-stick baking spray a pastry brush and i forgot to mention that you're also going to need a flavor injector and to bake your coconut rum cake you will need a nordic wear anniversary bunt pan now this is a 15 cup in capacity bunt pan you can also use a two pan as well and there we have it. All right, let's get straight to it. So here I have a medium sized bowl with a mesh strainer. And to that, I'm gonna add two and one half cups of all purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one fourth teaspoon of salt. Sift all the ingredients into this medium sized bowl. Stir all your ingredients together. Okay, now for our wet ingredients, here I have a separate medium sized bowl. I'm going to add 2 thirds cup of coconut milk at room temperature, 1 fourth cup of sour cream at room temperature, a half a cup of Bacardi white rum or any type of rum of your choosing, 2 teaspoons of coconut extract, and 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm going to take my whisk and stir all the ingredients together. All right, let's get started with the preparation of our cake batter. So in our stand mixer bowl, fit it with the paddle attachment. You can also use a hand mixer as well. Add two sticks of unsalted butter, soften and at room temperature, right on in there. And to that, I'm gonna add two cups of sugar. Start your mixer on a medium low speed just to get that butter and sugar incorporated. Turn your mixer up to the highest setting and mix this on high speed for five minutes. Now at some point during those five minutes, you're gonna go ahead and stop your mixer and you're going to scrape down the sides of your bowl. Continue mixing that in. All right, scrape down the sides of your bowl. Start your mixer on a medium speed and add four large eggs in at room temperature, one at a time. All right, scrape down the sides of your bowl. Okay, next we're going to alternate the all-purpose flour mixture and the rum coconut milk mixture into the batter. Now we're only adding the drying wet ingredients in here three separate times. We're not doing any measurements at this time. Add the first amount of the all-purpose flour mixture and the first amount of the coconut rum milk mixture. Mix this on a medium low speed for about 15 to 20 seconds or until combined. All right, scrape down the sides of your bowl. Add the second amount of the all-purpose flour mixture and the second amount of the coconut rum milk mixture. Mix this on a medium low speed for about 15 to 20 seconds or until combined. All right, scrape down the sides of your bowl. 
Add the third and final amount of the all-purpose flour mixture and the third and final amount of the coconut rum milk mixture. Mix this on a medium low speed for about 15-20 seconds or until combined. Alright, scrape down the sides of your bowl and our coconut rum cake batter is now ready. Spray your bunt pan with the Baker's Joy non-stick baking spray. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my oven to 325 degrees. Add one cup of your sweetened flake coconut into the bunt pan. Tilt your bunt pan to the side and from there, turn the bunt pan with your hand. That way you can coat the sides of the bunt pan with the flake coconut. Then shake the pan to make sure that the coconut is nice and even into the bunt pan. Add a half a cup of chopped pecan or any other type of nuts of your choosing. Add your prepared coconut rum cake batter into your baking pan. Using the back of a spoon, spread your coconut rum cake batter around your bunt pan as evenly as possible. To make the batter more even, shake your bunt pan and tap the bottom of your baking pan with your hand. Now it is ready to be baked. Place this into a preheated 325 degree oven on a bottom rack. Bake this for one hour and 10 minutes. All right, it's been about one hour and 10 minutes now for our coconut rum cake. Now let's go ahead and remove this out of the oven. Toothpick inserted into the cake should come out clean. Let the cake cool for about three to four hours before removing it out of the pan. Preheat your fire to medium heat. All right, let's get started making our coconut rum sauce. So in this medium sized pot, I'm going to add two third cup of water, a half a cup of sugar, three tablespoons of melted unsalted butter, one teaspoon of coconut extract, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one eighth of a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna take my whisk and stir all the ingredients together. Let this simmer for about seven to eight minutes, stirring occasionally. All right, it's been about seven to eight minutes now, and our mixture should be like a syrup. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn my fire off. Let this cool for 10 to 15 minutes. Add a half a cup of coconut milk at rum temperature. And a half a cup of the Bacardi white rum or any type of rum of your choosing. I'm going to take my whisk and stir all the ingredients together. And from there our coconut rum glaze is ready. Okay, here I have the coconut rum cake. We're going to set this on the side. And from there, uh, here I have my flavor injector. And this is my uh, coconut rum mixture. So I'm just going to fill the flavor injector with the coconut rum mixture. And from there, I'm going to take my flavor injector. And I'm going to inject some of the coconut rum mixture into the cake. Now before we flip the cake over, here I have a pastry brush with the coconut rum glaze. And I'm just going to dip that in there. And from there, I'm going to dab the coconut rum glaze onto the top of the bundt cake. Let that soak for about five minutes. And here I have a serving plate. I'm just going to flip the cake onto the serving plate. And next you're going to take some of your coconut rum mixture, have a pastry brush, and we're just going to dab that onto the top, the middle, and the sides of the coconut rum cake. Add as much as you like. Now you're going to wait about 15 to 30 minutes 
and afterwards the cake is ready to be served. Now for some quick tips, you can wrap the cake and place it into your refrigerator and store it in air or you can store it at room temperature. Now to keep the cake as fresh as possible, you're going to dab the rum coconut milk mixture onto the outside of the cake or you can take the cake and cut it into slices and dab the rum coconut milk mixture onto each slice and uh, there you go. Now if you need to make more of the coconut rum mixture, you can just uh, make another batch of the uh, recipe instructions given in the video same thing or you can take equal parts coconut milk and rum add it into a small bowl and then give it a quick stir and from there you can dab it onto the outside of the cake or if you just want to use just all rum and no coconut milk you could just take the rum and just dab it on there and that's it and there you have it ladies and gentlemen homemade coconut rum cake made by new orleans native if you like my channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos. I have an official website for all of my recipes, including this one. Go to www.charliecookandrews.com You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter under the name Charlie the Cook Andrews. Stay tuned as Charlie's Taste Test is coming up next. Can we? Ah. Now it's time to go eat and take a bite. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I love the flavor of this cake. It's moist, it has a wonderful coconut flavor. And you can most definitely taste the rum. It has just the right amount of sweetness. It's not overly sweet and it's not too sweet. It's just the right amount. So that way you can taste the rum, of course. <laughs> but overall, this is an absolutely delicious and flavorful coconut style rum cake. So give the recipe a try. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, have a good one. Peace.